Hello again. Welcome back to another Renaissance exhibition or showcase. Today we're going to look at Mountain Village, which reads plus two actions. Then look through your discard pile and put a card from it into your hand. If you can't, plus one card. So you always get plus one card. It's just that it may come from your discard and it often comes from your discard. This is a strong village. I would say and it slightly changes how you would want to build especially in the presence of cards that can discard uh, it's not all good of course cards that attacks really that junk you mountain bank for instance will dent mountain village severely militia also forces you to discard meaning things go into your discard pile so that can also be a bit of a nuisance when dealing with Mountain Village. So um, there are some upsides to Mountain Village, but there are also some downsides. So hopefully we can showcase both sides of that in this hour or so. So we're playing with the bot again, which is fine. So let's have a look here. See what we have. We have Palace for points. Lost Arts gives us actions. And there is draw in lackeys, no trashing really. And that is about it. There's not a lot going on here. Uh, with regard to mountain village, so bandit also. Right? Each other player reveals, then discards the rest. So playing bandit can put estates or coppers into your discard, and then mountain village has to pick those up. On the other hand, you have workshop which when it gains a card goes into your discard and mountain village can then pick up that card and you have nice targets here you have lackeys acting troop guide for workshop so just have to see how best to use the mountain village even on this board here there isn't that much to do you could build something with mountain village and lackeys and that's probably what i'm going to end up doing get a guide for security and Maybe you play the odd bandit. I don't even know if you want to play the bandit that much You put lost arts on lackeys, right? And then you don't ever actually need to do anything again get the mountain village at all And that is the end of that you don't need acting troop really Yeah, okay, we'll probably play with our bandit here so workshop and All right, so here's what we're going to do here's what we can do ordinarily you don't open with a village but if you do open with the mountain village here what you're hoping for is to play the workshop first and then see the mountain village on the next hand so you can pick up whatever it is you um, gained with the mountain village now that there, there's no real guarantee of that happening but it just is something you can do So it's not guaranteed, in fact, so I think I will go ahead and take one silver because we need to buy Lost Arts somehow. Alright, so it would have worked out, but how am I supposed to know that, right? So we'll take one Mountain Village here. That should help us to buy our Lost Arts and we'll start getting lackeys and hope we get to six soon enough so we just pile on the lackeys here probably okay so this isn't the greatest mountain village in the world but it's fine we still draw a card at the end of the day right so here you just pile on the lackeys get lots of those um this should get us to six no okay so here yeah put our lackeys in buy more lackeys good so this mountain village We'll pick up any of these cards here. I think it should be lackeys. So we can play one, play two. We can play two more and probably get up to six. Not yet. Yeah, there we get up to six. But let's just draw until the end. Workshop, pull down another lackeys and get the lost dots onto the lackeys here. So we didn't really need the mountain village to be honest i just wanted to showcase it a bit here so these are all for free uh, what we can do now is something nice so here i can 
play the workshop uh, let's just get all of these and then play the mountain village pick it up straight away so there's a good side of the mountain village you notice the bot here has a bandit so we might see the bad side of it soon let's get a bandit of our own um, they have a lot of palace points which is fine I can also get lots of palace points now let's go lackeys keep going with lackeys here keep going where is the um oh here's the mountain village all right so i think i want the gold i don't need the gold actually don't know why i did that but we'll play it pick up the gold get the last lackeys and then we could start knocking back silvers to get palace points here all right so on a province for the bot oh wow we didn't draw anything so there i could have played the bandit first and picked up the gold right but i was hoping to draw a bit more than that uh didn't work out but that's totally fine we reveal two coppers i think we just take some silver here and keep trying to pile on the um yeah let's keep going until the end yeah let's stop there buy another province all right so let's see how far we get so bandit revealed two lackeys which is good if i see the mountain village not so good if i don't see the mountain village so um i'll take one oh no i should have taken a village there i don't have to take the village but let's take the village and a silver So let's see if we can play the bandit. Playing bandit is important against money strategies. So we didn't get to the bandit, but that's okay. Um, I can pick up the gold here. Or oh, another trick you can do is pick up mountain villages with one mountain village and then pick up whatever you want. Yeah, let's take the gold, I think. I should have played lackeys first. Ah, okay. So we'll play this bandit first, just to put a gold in the discard, make it more likely that I'll be able to get to province. So we'll stop here, just pick up one more province. We have three lackeys in hand. All right, we have duchy, we have province. Uh, let's draw the way through. All right, take province here. Um, Bandit revealed lackeys and province, so that's fine. Let's do lackeys. Let's do a silver. We don't get points for that, but we'll take more silver because I should probably take a guardian there, actually. All right, so the bot ended the game on a loss. So we didn't really see the, the downside of Mountain Village there. We only saw plus sides, positives, and we didn't even really need the Mountain Village there, to be honest. But it did allow us some flexibility in certain situations. All right, so here's Mountain Village again. Here it is again. We have pageant this time, which stores coins. We have a big goon thing going on here, right, with chapel. So let's see what we can do with that. I think, yeah, okay, this should be chapel. And we can buy a pageant here. Or oh, we don't need the sauna stuff, right? You just need like Mountain Village Goons Caravan to go from there. We have Peddlers, so I think I should buy an action card here. So if I buy the Mountain Village now, right, that could let me um, see my chapel twice in one shuffle, all right? That is possible. So let's go ahead and try that. We'll keep three dollars around. So it didn't work out here, but it's okay. We'll try and keep three dollars around to um, buy our smugglers with or silver if need be. Turns out um, we might be able to do better than that. Yeah, we'll take a caravan here. So the mountain village 
in such a thin deck will provide some defense against the goons. Because you can pick up the cards, it makes you discard. But your deck has to be very thin, right? If there's a mixture of bad and good cards, then you will be forced to pick up all the cards in your discard, not just the um, good ones. So I trashed two coppers. I have two left. That's enough for a peddler. So we'll get rid of these. Let's we'll see if this guy or this person wants to play. It says A. We have to play the chapel, but not actually trash anything. So we'll take the peddler here. Let's see if... Okay. Alright, so... Peddler, this, we can... We can actually cut all of these. And just pick up lots of peddlers now. Maybe I should have kept. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a. Uh... Okay, great. So we get some human interaction, finally. Hooray. So let's get rid of the bot. Alright, cool. Okay, great. So, sorry to cut that there, but humans are better than the bot right now. So here we have Mountain Village. Um, it can pick up the card that gets discarded from Envoy, which is important. Uh, it'll also force you to pick up the curse from the Witch, right? If you have only the curse in your discard pile. Okay, so it looks like 2-5. So you probably don't want to get the mountain village. I don't know if you do. You can still pick up good cards um, with the mountain village, but if you do have it on your, like, you shuffle and there's nothing in your discard, you will be forced to draw a curse, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. Okay. So um, here we need which... Here we need a witch. Yeah, so there's the witch. Um, what did I get? A silver. This could be an envoy. Envoy is something. Could also be dismantle. I don't like the dismantle. Let's try with the envoy and see where that goes. So we already have five in hand. This is incredible, honestly. So now we'll get the witch. Oh, capitalism. Vault. Okay. Vice pageant. Yeah, pageant is good. So this is obviously a witch. Yeah, so this is the problem with the envoy. If I see the witch here, I feel sad, right? Because I don't get to play the witch. By some mountain village. Okay, so I probably will see the witch, yeah. Which is too bad, but we still get up to five. What do I do with the five, though? I could get mountain village. You know? I could get mountain village. I could also get pageant. I think I need the mountain village. 
because this sort of stuff is not going to fly very often. So let's try to pick up some mountain villages. So in here is mountain village on Void Witch, right? Horn of Plenty seems early, but we will see. So you, you know, another thing you could do is capitalism and use Vault for draw. I think that is what I'm going to try to do here. Okay. So I probably don't want to play the Envoy here. Just the Witch. Oh wow, that's a that's a good hand. So the Mountain Village probably put the Horn of Plenty into hand there. Another Witch, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should just get another Witch. I don't know what I'm doing playing around with capitalism. I mean. So we take the silver. Yeah. I think I just play the witch. And don't play this. Um, let's stick to the plan and see where it goes. Here we could get the pageant? I don't know. Okay, another curse. We need to get the dismantle out as well. If we want to clean up here. Well, there's another good horn of plenty too in there, man. Like, four coin is good. You could get mountain villages easily. So let's go ahead and take the pageant. No. Um. Hmm. I need. What do I need? I don't know what I need. Let's go for one of these and then we could go for lots of um then i can go for a dismantle and then lots of vaults and see where that goes from there faithful hound yeah vault with faithful hound is cool you get to put them all back into your hand mountain i'll take the other mountain mountain silver then we'll do Envoy first, that's fine. Then we'll do Witch. Then we'll do Vault. You know, potentially just Envoy and Vault is good enough. Because the Vault is our treasure, right? And then you could just buy lots of provinces with it. But. Yeah. Well, you know, we're gonna see this. We are not always going to see this. Horn of Plenty would be nice, but I don't. I don't even think this mantle is good here. This mantle is just too slow. Okay, let's do it. Let's take the province and then, okay, I was worried about hands like these, but we just buy silver, we just turn for money. Our opponent disconnected here. Well, I could buy candlestick maker alternatively and save the coin token. So let's go that route, okay? Let's go with the vault and the pageant and some money and see if we could get provinces. Any five is going to be vault from now. And let's see if they come back. Because trashing is just way too difficult, especially for me. Considering that um, I have more curses and I will turn, it looks like I will have more curses. So, all right, they're, they're back, which is good. So here we'll take the stick. Um, we'll take the candlestick maker to save our coin token. Whether that's better than silver, I really don't know. Probably isn't. Okay, this is cool. I probably won't get to play the witch, but that's okay. This is definitely our province. So envoy up. Wow, that was that's miserable. 
and we completely vault because of the capitalism. So we get rid of everything here. And we have nine even. So we can go ahead, take our province and save our coin token, which is good. So hopefully no witch. Okay, so there I have to pick up the curse. Uh, it's okay. Um, this is dead envoy, so we discard the copper. Uh, they have five of these. Oh, very nice. So I'm hoping to just get ahead of him before he's able to amass enough horns on crowns keepers. But I need to get six more provinces, which, you know, isn't the easiest. Hopefully here, if we're lucky, we can buy a vault. Never mind, it looks like we'll be able to buy a province. So we just get rid of all of these. Yeah, we can buy the province. Okay, so we'll take another one of those here. Uh, how does pageant work? Do I have to buy anything? No, I'll just convert this into a coffer and replay this envoy here. So one more curse is left, probably getting it here. Yeah, so this is great. This is when you want to see mountain villager because he can pick up a bunch of cards from his discard. Expect envoy, yeah. So we cut the draw out, expect another envoy. No, I guess he just picked up a bunch of mountain villages, which is cool too. So let's see what happens here. Uh, stick and hound. Um, here. I don't really want the candlestick make, I prefer the coffer. Alternatively, um, I could get another vault, right, which doesn't seem bad. But I want to keep saving these coffers. Now, this is not exactly where I want to see the vault. Cut the horn out there. Oh. But I'll definitely be able to buy province with the amount of coffers that I have. So vault, get rid of these. This is this is cool. I'm almost up to province without spending any of these here. So yeah. So that's four provinces, which is good. I'll save again here. There goes the last curse, so I have that. Alright, so I don't really want the candlestick maker. Plus one. Okay, cool. So I'll fish the vault out of the bin here. So this is nice. That I'm able to do that. That guarantees province so here uh cut the draw out i think you can gain something nice with the horn of plenty but that's okay oh i forgot that the horn behaves like that so you'll have that in his hand for next turn so maybe i should have cut the um horn out not sure so he's able to gain horn envoy and buy something buy another candlestick maker so Mountain village, fishes. I could fish the other mountain village out. But there's no real point considering I have no more actions to play. So vault. Oh, never mind. There was a point. But I probably won't go ahead and play the envoy even if I see it. It'll just make all the cards miss, right? Yeah, that's nice. He gets to cycle one for free there. Okay, so we barely have to spend any of our coffers which is good still at five let's see what can, what we can get with the envoy hopefully not the vault so this is should be a good turn right near the end we've seen an, a couple envoys go past 
Yeah, there should be three envoys coming up here. Or two on our witch at least. So we'll cut this one out. Okay. How many horns? Whoa. Five candlestick makers. That's crazy. So double province is possible. But I don't think it is good. I don't really think they have much plays here. The play here for them is groundskeeper. They have to take all of these. Or a lot of these. And then make up the points there. But they're not doing that. So this should get us to province. We, are, we will take it. Um, that does uh, lose all of these. But it's okay. That's what they're there for. Um, discard the envoy. We'll get one back from the candlestick maker. I could consider buying coppers now. I think I will. I think I will. I think it's helpful for the deck to start buying coppers. Because here, if I had a copper, I could convert it to a coin token, right? Uh, we can get the envoy out. We'll see what else we can get out. So we cut the money out because this is dead draw. A lot of coins. We got 15 of them. Double province still available. So mountain. Let's take the other mountain. Mountain, let's take the envoy. Let's play the envoy. The vault is in here, I know. But he has to give us something. Okay, so this is a nice silver here. And uh, we get to save one. That's, that's cool. I'll live with that. Uh, here I'll take a stick just to run down the piles. Here I deny one of plenty, of course. Yeah, so... They're taking lots of mountains because they're realizing, okay, I seem to not have enough villages. So let's just chip away at the piles here, banking up some coins. I'll do the same thing here. So, yeah, he's going to get lots of good cards. Probably up to province again here. Envoy. I don't really want to deny the dog. Let's deny the dog. That's a lot of draw. And maybe you can make an argument for the horn of plenty there, but um, deny this. That's way too strong to give him at that point in the shuffle. I did play the dog there to trigger that shuffle, so that's interesting. Twenty-four. So. I'm Horns of plenty, at least two. I could think about buying the estates instead, right? But I. Oh, converting these into duchies. Alright. So. I still think he's like way, way, way off. Fifteen is three duchies, yeah. So fifteen playing thirty two. And we'll keep chipping our way here. We're halfway to province. Wow. Could spend a lot to get two duchies. Spend some to get one duchy. Uh, we'll buy the copper. Keep this. So with a good turn here, I maybe can win. I don't know. I don't even know what's in my discard. This mountain. I have the province in hand. Um, I think I have to deny the witch. It does give him a horn. But I don't want to give him more horns. So let's see if they have it. Okay, so just 13. So can't, well, they could end the game. One off. What is he? Oh, does he mean for horn? One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, yeah. What do you have other cards in your deck? I don't think so. I don't think so. There's nothing else. I have both silvers. So you. Uh, so there go all the duchies. So I can win off double candlestick maker. Do I have a candlestick? I do. So I can win off of that. We can't do anything about that. Province plus estate is seven. So I think I'm okay because I bought a bunch of candlestick makers. Buying lots of estates, yeah. Okay. So here, yeah, we just take the candlestick maker and buy those two guys. So the mountain village here was quite good. It let me find my vault one time, the candlestick maker here. And we had to um, play a little bit differently than I wanted to there. I wanted to build the nice envoy thing, but it just wasn't there to be built. Here we have knights and mountain village again. So knights put things in your discard. Yeah, now they realize, okay, knights was the wave, not knights, groundskeeper was the wave there, yeah. So, Armory is going to be your friend here. Uh, because knights are going to wreck everything. I am going to get an upgrade here. Yeah, it does take the armory. Gain lots of villages, lots of silvers, lots of everything. Let's take the upgrade. Yeah, okay. This is not bad. Silver is good too. We want to get to the knights sooner or later. This will be a magpie. This will be a magpie. Hopefully I see an estate here. One in four. Magpie there. Okay, we didn't see it. Um, armory. This is definitely an armory. Uh, we need the mountain villages to play the destries, right? So we'll get those with the armory, of course. Hopefully I get to a silver here. So armory comes out. Gains our magpie, fine. So uh, let's play this magpie. We saw an upgrade. And... We'll take the mountain village here and not buy anything. Okay, cool. So here we'll play the magpie first and maybe we will gain our magpie, which I can pick up with the mountain village. Maybe. Just maybe. I don't have a lot of money, so I'm eager to pick up a silver soon here. An alternative is to upgrade the magpie into a relic, one other upgrade, then pick that up. Okay, so we did find the, um, uh, we did put our magpie into the discard. However, I think I want the silver here. Oh, even our forager. I think I want the silver, then I'll take the magpie here. Play the magpie, gain a magpie, great. Okay. So do I want another magpie? 
think I'd rather have this. And let's get rid of these two. They have a couple chapels, which is interesting. So I expect all the magpies to finish here. Yup. We still have a couple coppers in the deck. Uh, Marie. It's about time to buy a piazza too. Uh, doing that, I see. I would rather just pay the money for it. Magpie. Chapel. But it looks like I won't be able to pay the money for it. So I have to go ahead and pick up the um, banquet here, which is too bad. I don't like doing that. I really don't like doing that. Let's go ahead and take Molly. The, the draw knight is good, actually, here, yeah, because there's no draw on the board, right? We lost the silver. Which is awful. And I have to pick up a copper with one of these villages. Which is not something I'm interested in. But what can you do? There are lots of tricks here. Right? Like I can upgrade into Anna. With, right? And then pick up Anna. Alongside the um, copper. And then trash both of them. I won't be able to buy a knight. But... I'll be able to do that, you know, like I can do that. Is this double banquet? No, it's mountain village and a banquet. Okay, so let's take the copper. I don't know why. We see Molly. Okay, so Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trash this to pick up a knight. And then play Molly. Trash a magpie. And I'll pick up back the mountain village. End buys. So now I can get the knight easily. I can also get the upgrade easily. This upgrade is very, very helpful. If that gets trashed, we're in big trouble. <laughs> Gains our mountain village. So the mountain village pile and the knights pile will run, it looks like here. Yeah. Which is a bit of a concern. So banquet. Oh, look, they're not even drawing the whole deck, man. All these banquets are too much now. So banquet for a relic and another mountain village. Great, great, great. So let's take the mountain village now. We can get a lot of knights out. Ah, that is cool. So we couldn't banquet for the knight there because it was a victory card knight. Let's play this one magpie. So a magpie on top of the deck. Okay, so let's play this now. Pick up Sylvia. Uh, let's play this. Mountain village on top. Let's play this upgrade. We get the upgrade, which is nice. So let's play the upgrade. And trash the chapel. I think we trash the chapel. We turn it into a forager, I think. Let's play Molly. Okay, so probably exchanging Anna for Molly. And this is an exchange. I would be happy to trade Sylvia for Destry here. So I don't really want Josephine. No. Keep in Destry, yeah. So that is correct, I think. I will take a mountain village instead of this knight. I'd rather them take that knight and I get something better below it. Um... Huh. Let's get rid of the mountain village. Uh, 
So we'll see how much of the deck they draw here, if they find the relic as well. Armory gained what? A forager? Okay. Probably found the relic. Is that the relic? That is the relic. So that's too bad. So probably... Eh, I don't even like that knight. But I can use the armory to gain it. Which is something. So there's a mountain village there, which will get... Uh, the magpie. We did put our copper into our hand, which is cool. This finds Sylvia. So let's play Sylvia. Let's trash here. And I'll gain Martin. It's about time for Piazza, I think. Okay, so Relic is coming down again here. They have two points because of Josephine. So Destry killed one Magpie. And Josephine is gone now, so we're both on zero points. I have the upgrade. I can turn something into a duchy very quickly. Where's the buy coming from? Oh, the Forager, I see. So buying Van... Uh, so I... Could buy Bailey here, but I would also want to. Is that copper in my discard? I do have a copper in my discard. Ah, okay. Okay, so obviously you're taking my buy here. Um. Do I play the magpie or the mountain village? Let's play one mountain village. That was terrible. I should not have done that. Um, <laughs> I can draw the game, maybe. Let's see if we can tie the game here. Yeah, I can. So I'll take it. <laughs> I could have played for a win there, but I didn't really want to. Okay. So that ended up even. Okay, we have Mountain Village here again, but they have ill gotten gains, which is a pain in the backside, and you have no way to trash. So, I think that is all we're going to be doing. Ill gotten gains, there's nothing else to do here except ill gotten gains. Um, and you don't really want the Mountain Village. Well, maybe you do. You do, you do, you do. Because you can pick up back those things. So, I am of the opinion that Inventor is worth something. And Tracker is definitely worth something. Not exactly the way to get five, but Inventor brings down the cost of things. And Tracker lets you top deck things. So we'll take some Shanty Towns here. And we have four now. So I think we'll get Mountain Village here. You see with the Mountain Village, it is possible to build through the curses somewhat. 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 Not a lot, but somewhat. So we'll take more Shanty Towns. They should be good. Three of them should be ample. Um, huh, I have to play this. I just, I just want the pouch. I don't really want the other shanty town. Wow, we didn't get anything there. Mm -hmm. Let's take the smithy and the buys. Yeah, still nobody has gotten the five yet. That's 
probably our fault. So let's go track out first. <laughs> we get rid of all of those. <laughs> that is absolute trash. And we'll put a, a smithy in here. Because we have mountain villages coming up. Oh, I can top deck it. Uh, let's not top deck it. Which is odd. But I'm doing it. One more shanty town. I'll top deck the shanty town though. Because I was worried, what if the smithy was dead, whatever, you know. Maybe I should have another inventor too. I could see it. I guess none of us are going to ill gotten gains. Yeah, double inventor is nice. Oh, there's royal carriage too, which is cool. Actually, that's probably very important to buy. To play a smithies many, many, many times. So here, yes. Um, smithy, play smithy. Play Smithy. Play Shanty Town. Play Shanty Town. What a turn that was. Alright, so here we definitely take another inventor. And we will go four and three. Cool. This is cool. See in the, the um it's okay. This is good, this is good. Royal Carriage, Tracker. Okay, that wasn't terrible. We'll not play that again. Um, I think we take Mountain. Top deck the Mountain. Could top deck the Blacksmith. Ooh, how crazy is that? To top deck the Blacksmith? Nah, nah, let's not top deck the Blacksmith. Nah, that's, just, that's, that's too much, that's too much. Coppers are my main source of money. I don't have anything other than coppers. Let's have a pouch and a tracker. That's two dollars. Like you could play it and then draw everything back. It'll draw five cards. Well, it might draw five cards. You know, it'll draw less than five cards, obviously, because you discard some of the coppers. So yeah, this is gonna pile out. We have to be very careful. And tracker can drop the cost. Not tracker. Inventor drops the cost of things. Yes, very close to pile out here. Yeah. Three villages, three smithies, four inventors. There goes another inventor. Two, three. Oh, wow. They managed to play all four of them. That's crazy. I assume that's province and something. Yeah. Province and village, yeah. Um, I have the, the tracker, which I will take, so... You know, would you rather the pouch? I'd rather the tracker. Uh, well, then we play the smithy, and then we do that. Now, I'm in trouble, because I have to... Um, well, I, no, I can't draw here, unless this gives me action, it doesn't. So, I'm afraid to lower piles. Seriously, I can't really lower piles here. But I should gain something with this. Maybe another inventor. Uh, let's not top deck it. And we'll take a royal carriage and top deck it. Could argue for duchy there. Could, oh, I don't have enough for province. What? I thought I would have had. Okay, never mind. Then. Um, okay, let's do carriage. Let's do shanty town since I lowered the inventors anyway. So we have a hand here. I wonder if they have a hand. No, they don't. Okay. Okay. And they lower the pilot. It's not something you should do. It's two and three of these. Two and two of these. Okay. Shanty town. Um, yeah. 
all one yes call two I probably shouldn't have done that okay let's put this down I don't think I'll get all of these to draw so I can play one let's do this call this I should have probably kept that right? I can do better with inventor uh, my fault yes so let's keep one back um, we haven't seen the discard for ping boon yet so let's play at least one inventor can I end the game last card is inventor which I will be able to get to and in fact I might be able to get to some more inventors oh yeah I could top deck there but this doesn't matter now because I have the shanty town so let's do tracker that's exactly what I wanted uh ha huh. that is exactly what I wanted so I will be able to play three inventors here no 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 only what I draw no I might not be able to draw that so um I can do it like this take the duchy don't top deck it take the inventor top deck it so now I know there's two of them on top yes then take an inventor I don't care that doesn't matter take the shanty town I should have top deck that just to be yeah okay we got there because then it's all to in really okay so there you go mountain village didn't do much then okay so there there you have it we played some games with mountain village um there are some tricks with it and you have to be aware of it it um, becomes a lot more effective if you can pad your discard pile in some way or we saw in that game with lots of junk the mountain village was often good because it would come in the middle of the deck most of the time and then you could fish out the vault for example but other than that there were lots of tricks with the upgrade for example that puts things in your discard you could pick it up right away and play it that's very nice very very nice you could pick up night play it a warehouse discard seller discards all of these things discard and then you can just pick the things back up with the mountain village we also saw some downside where i had to pick up curses or coppers sometimes with them but uh, yeah there you have it all in all you need to pay attention to mountain village and things that could put things into your discard and not all cards will explicitly say go into your discard right warehouse says okay yeah draw three discard three but upgrade doesn't say that upgrade says gain a card but the gain card has to go into your discard so uh, you should watch out for that gainers and things that say discard and then you have some tricks available to you also in junkie games it can help to recur um, important cards like golds and vaults and whatever just like harbinger can do or scheme all right so thank you for watching and next week next week we will go to one of the, the projects so let's see which project we're on now let's go to renaissance let's wait for this thing to load we were on capitalism oh no we have cathedral next cathedral oh that's barracks why did it show me barracks it should show me cathedral cathedral is fun at the start of your turn trash a card from your hand this is mandatory mandatory so should be fun all right so again thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one